Daddy, where am I? I'm in Yongyang County, northeast of Gyeongsang Province, Korea. This is a beautiful village. It's called the Doodle Village. Today, I'm going to make delicious gochuri, bechu gochuri, quick, fresh kimchi. I have a mission for you and for myself. Korea Agro Trade Center contacted me a while ago and they asked me, this year their slogan is red, hot, spicy. They asked me if I have any ideas, video ideas to represent this slogan. Kidding? I'm the person who is teaching how to make spicy red hot kimchi online to the millions of people from all around the world, just like you. This area is a Yangyang. They produce best top quality Korean hot peppers. What is the gochuri, bechu gochuri? Is a gochuri is a kimchi, still kimchi, but fresh, freshly quickly you can make. Salting time is very short, so the cabbage has a still really crispy texture, a lot of water inside, and also it's coated in heavy kimchi paste. Best thing is that you eat, just make a small amount portion and eat finish in one time. And probably you know about this bechu gochuri, especially when you visit the Korean really famous, you know, kalguksu place. They always serve together. You will enjoy this kalguksu more when you eat with bechu gochuri. So let's go inside and let's make together. This is a really gorgeous house, isn't it? This is like an old style always sitting on the floor and makes. And sunlight is too really harsh. I like to wear this my hat. Okay, much better. This is bechu, Korean cabbage. I will just measure a little one pound, really small portion. Okay, first. Gorgeous. Inside is yellow and it's green leaves, lots of green leaves. This is good quality. And we need only one pound. So this is, I just after removing, this is going to be one pound. Cut just so coarsely. And some water, around just a half a cup water and salt, one tablespoon, and mix. I'm going to salt this for 30 minutes. Every 10 minutes, you need to you know, mix this so that all evenly coat. Yesterday, I went to the market, just local market. I need some anchovy, fermented anchovy. Because when you make a kimchi, really delicious, like some deep kind of flavor of the kimchi, you need this. So I'm going to make this some special way of kimchi paste. I need around three tablespoons for one pound of cabbage. See, this is a real fermented anchovies, really tasty. So around two, three, and then the, the liquid. So all together, around three tablespoons. So I will add half cup water. This is glutinous rice flour. Two teaspoon, only two teaspoon need. One, two. Let's turn on and just stir this. Let it boil. In five minutes, all this fish is going to be melted. So I'm going to strain this and I will use this as a kimchi base, kimchi paste base. So now, you see, and turn off. This is thinner. So this is kimchi base, and then I'm going to just stir this one more time.
So I wanted to taste this Yongyang gochu. So yesterday I visited Yongyang Red Pepper Trade Corporation run by Yongyang County. So this person I met, I gave him some interview and then he explained very nicely. I saw that they are all the process. When the fresh Korean red pepper comes, then they just wash really nicely. After that, cut it into small pieces and then dry it. They have really special equipment. It has to be low temperature, but really short time it has to be dried. It's not going to lose the color and flavor. So after this, and then they just grind. And then they make the package. So I saw all. From the beginning to the end, it takes only three hours. It's amazing. And then I was always uh, worried about this hot pepper flakes that they really wash nicely. Because, you know, when they bring it, who is washing? How many times washing? So I was always curious about that. But yesterday, I learned that this Yongyang Gochu, that company, they just uh, really, really, everything is clean. I tasted yesterday. Kala is really bright red. Little sweet. And then I asked him, hmm, smells kind of sweet, you know. I asked him, my first question is, how come this in New York City I buy the, even though that's very expensive hot pepper flakes, why the color is kind of dark to kind of brownish? He answered, he said, and because when they dry the really high heat to make it really faster, and it's going to color change with a dark brown color. The gochugaru produced in the factory is uh, they don't use that method, very low temperature and short. So that's why they had to cut it before drying. Anyway, uh, this is gochugaru. I can't wait to taste this gochugaru. And also, oh, interesting thing is, I asked him, this is a kimchi, it says kimchi yong botong mat. It's a spicy okay, or mild and medium, but in Korean, botong mat. Uh, the person said, this is sold in America. I just gave him recommendation. Why is it not in English? Botong mat in Korean he wrote. So if this is sold in America, you gotta translate it in English. So he said, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So I hope they, they change. Anyway, I will just use one third cup. I will use and mix. I think this color is very pretty. And to make it tasty, I will add just a little bit sugar. Sugar, one and a half teaspoon. So mix it well. Already smells good. Then, meanwhile, I'm going to mix this again. Now we need garlic, garlic and ginger. So I brought this, you guys know this, eh? mine. So garlic, three cloves of garlic, and onion, about a quarter cup. Ginger, just around a half a teaspoon. In my house, I never done this. I have a food processor, but you know, when you travel, just I make like a small portion in kimchi, and then I always take this. This is my savior. <laughs> and then grind, we pound, let's pound together. <laughs> And also I asked him, gochu, hot pepper, red pepper came from South America, near the Amazon River. Uh, but how come Korean gochu is uh, less spicy? And he says, because this, uh, even though same species, all this uh, kind of taste and flavor can be different, depending on their climate and where they grow, and also depending on soil. And then I asked him, uh, why? What makes this Yongyang gochu is very uh, standing out? And then he said, Yongyang area, this soil is very good. Red pepper grow really, really nicely. Also, the temperature is early morning and night time is a kind of cool temperature. Daytime is like really sunny. That's why the gochu is kind of sweet and also like thick. When they grind, they can get this lot of good quality flakes.
Yeah, this house has a patch in the yard. I just took these two green onions. And also puchu is a garlic chives. Cut this. Green onion. And this is a carrot. For color, I will add just a little bit. I will cut it into matchsticks. Just only a little bit, only quarter cup. So we add a lot of ingredients here, you know, green onion and garlic chives and, you know, some onion. So we still need some fish sauce. So if you guys don't have the fermented fish, and you use two tablespoons fish sauce. It will be wonderful. But I already added fermented fish here, so one tablespoon fish sauce is enough. One tablespoon and mix. Oh my, so delicious looking already. That's right, this red pepper color, so pretty, bright red. I'm so comfortable here. It's like my house. <laughs> In actually summertime, like my grandmother's house, like they have this kind of, you know, some the mat. And we used to sleep here in the daytime and like take a nap. And really my uncle and we always talking, chatting each other. You know, usually like a persimmon tree was there, my grandmother's house. We call this Pyeongsang. Wonderful. I feel so comfortable and thinking about my old time. Plus, I'm also making recipe too. So now kimchi paste is all done. See, it looks like it takes a little time, but actually think about when you have a you know, food process at home, just a quick, quick, quick. So I'm going to wash this and rinse and mix together. That's the batch got jelly. This is the way that we wash. Mix this. Cold water. Just mix this with my kimchi paste here. I just think about my children. Whenever I make a kachari, so they always come. I said, say, ah, and then I put this in some sesame seeds and then they eat. So now I don't have children, all you guys online, <laughs> virtual, say everybody ah, and then I can give you some, have a taste. So now you can make it at home. Just follow this recipe. Sesame seeds. My God, yummy, yummy. More sesame seeds. This is bechu gochari, very special bechu gochari because I use Korean hot pepper flakes produced in this area. Isn't it fantastic? I invited some people and I'm going to eat with my dakju, chicken porridge together. So here you go, everything is ready. And also I have my new friends. She is owner of this house and her relative. And she is, her name is Miss Jo Gui-bun. This area, there was a really historical figure named Lady Jang ge yang She wrote Korean cookbook, written in Korean for the first time in our history. And this is 1670. She just wrote down all recipes, plus how to take care of each ingredient and her know-how and skills. And she just uh, wrote down for her family. Just not like these days, a cookbook author. Just she wrote down all the recipes for her own uh, children. So this house is a jonga. Jonga means that 
for generation generations is a hand down through first son and then she's a 13th generation so i was very honored to meet her besides she just allowed me to cook and video filming here so thank you so much 여기 사진 찍게 비디오 찍게 해줘 너무 감사드려요 그래서 네. 제가 그 저, 아주 존경하는 장계향 씨, 그리고 이렇게 13대 종부님이신데, 어, 그리고 또 이렇게 또 친척분이시고, 그래서 너무너무 감사하고, 제가 사랑으로 만든 이 전라도 스타일 아마 좋아하실지 모르겠지만, 아주 맵고, 아주 진한 그런 그 겉절이거든요. 네. 그리고 이제 이거는 토종닭으로 예. 만들었어요. 그러니까 좀 맛있게 잡수해 네. 주시면 좋겠네요. 네. 예. 네. <웃음> She's also running a cooking class around here. 쿠킹 클래스 아시죠? 예. 예. 아, 감사합니다. 네. 이게 요 찹쌀하고 음. 어, 저기 커피 낸 녹두 있죠? 네. 그걸로 네. 이렇게 했어요. 좀 고소한 네. 맛이 나게. 어, 이거는 소스인데 네. 어, 식초하고 간장 넣어가지고 네. 이렇게 했으니까 이거 알아서 네. 네. 알았어. 예. 네. 잡숴 보세요. 네. 네. 저도 볼까요? 네. 드세요. 네. 많이 네. 드세요. 네. 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 맛있어요. 어떤가요? 예. 이거 닭 삶은 예. 예. 맛있어요. 물은 적게 넣고 닭두 마리를 폭폭 삶았어요. 음. 폭폭. <웃음> you remember 폭폭? Long time, long time I boil this until really tender. This chicken until tender. 예. 근데 물을 많이 안 넣고. 예. 영양 고추로. 음. 영양 여기서 생산된 고추로. 음. 영양 고추. 음. 맛있어요. 음흠. 응. 매콤하고 응. 또그 멸치 젓갈 그죠? 맛이 응. 나거든요. 예. 음. She loves the spicy and also the flavor from the anchovies. Anchovies is not like a fish sauce. Real anchovy fermented fish. It gives a really deep flavor. So today we made kochori and I'm eating with dakju, chicken porridge. Enjoy my recipe. 같이 우리 see you next time 하면서 같이 할까요? 네. 네. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye. Bye. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 아, 감사합니다. 예. 감사합니다. 네. 됐어요. <웃음>